Here's more from uh, Friday, January 21st class for Trick Precal. This is coming after understanding the doubling time and the half-life. Um, we did. We also did a few examples of that, but you can look in the book for similar stuff in the last section of the exponential chapter. Here's another thing that's covered pretty well in the book, but I figured I'd do a video as well because we did it in class. Uh, population growth. I think they use different letters in the book, but I'm going to use N for just number of people or number of bacteria. Let's say um, N for us is number of bacteria in a dish, in a lab, and a T, let's say T equals hours after starting experiment. And we, the claim is that this exponential model still models the growth. And it models the growth only accurately if um, they're not straining for resources, if they're not filling up the dish. But if they're not, it's actually a pretty decent model for growth of bacteria. And uh, what we'd like to, like to sh I'd like to show you is an example of going from data to figuring out these crucial things in the model. N sub naught, or N sub zero, whatever you want to call it. That's going to be, well, that's going to be what happens when you set t equals 0. Because if you set t equals 0, this whole thing's going to be 1. And so that's the starting number of bacteria. And k is going to be the growth constant. Meh. It's exactly analogous to the decay constant for radi radioactivity. And it's exactly analogous to the interest rate uh, for continuous compounding of money. They're all the same model. It's wonderful. So let's do a, a specific example. Suppose we know that uh, at time two, let's say two hours, we know we have uh, 200 bacteria. And these might not be exactly the same numbers I did in class. I did different versions in the two sections anyway. And let's say n of four, we have 600 bacteria. And then the question, questions would be, what is n of t in general? And for example, what is like n of 6, 6 hours? And when is n of t? Let's find the t such that we have, let's say, um, 1,000 bacteria in the dish. OK. so. You might want to pause the video and think if you can find a low-tech way to answer one of those questions. I claim one of those questions is actually quite easy if you think about the idea behind exponential growth and uh, think about the, the, the mode of thinking we've tried to uh, cultivate. I'm going to go ahead and do it um, the sort of harder way, but then I'm going to show you how we could have answered one of those questions easier. So let's just blindly set up some equations. Not the bad, not the worst thing. N of 2, we know that N of 2 is 200, but we also have a master formula for that. That's N naught e to the kt. And we know N of 4 is 600, and that's N naught, oh, sorry, e to the k times 2. So I'm just going to put the 2 in front, e to the 4k. So we're plugging in what we know. And this is a very general principle. If you have a model that has some undetermined parameters, like this n sub 0, n naught, or k, just plug in everything else you know, and then see if you can solve some equations to find those. We've got two equations, this one and this one. And we've got two unknowns. We should be able to solve for those. Now, a, um, what most people would do is solve for either n naught or k in one of the equations and plug in. That'll work, but let me show you uh, something that's a little more elegant, and that is to play the equations off against each other. With linear equations, we've been told that you can add or subtract them to each other and sometimes kill off a variable. Here, that doesn't work so well, and there's an, a, a moral reason for that. It's that in our world with exponential growth, we always want to compare not by subtracting. It's not that important that we added 400 bacteria in this two hours. The key is that we tripled the number of bacteria. It's about the, um, it's about the growth factor, not the difference. So I'm going to divide the bottom equation by the top equation. 600 over 200 is 3. And the great thing is when I divide these guys, there's two great things that happen. One is the n-naughts cancel. 
and indeed I have actually um, eliminated one of the variables. That's the crucial thing. But the ni other nice thing is that rules of exponents simplify this already and say e to the 2k is 3. Hey, that's pretty cool. Okay, so again, it's really important this idea that the 3 has, and that's not just a mathematical trick here, it has a meaning. It's the growth factor in 2 hours. And so what we're saying is the growth factor in 2 hours is 3, and that's why it's e to the 2k. When I put in 2 hours here and do e to the 2k, I'm getting a 2 hour growth factor and we know that that is equal to 3 for this case. Now, we use lns to strip off and solve for the exponent, and so k is going to be, let me move it over, ln 3 over 2, which is approximately, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. hello, um, it's about 0 0.59, 0 0.54931. Okay, so that tells us k. Now, what about n naught? Okay, we can go back to either of these equations and plug that in. Okay, and in fact, in this case, look at the e to the 2k. Hey, look, we've already got that. So it would be a little bit um, silly to plug in k directly into here. We've already got the 2k. Now, that's a, a little bit of a simplistic, uh, a feature of this simple example, but we might as well observe that. So in fact, what we get is 200 equals n naught times 3. And so we get n naught equals 200 over 3. So that's the step where if this hadn't just been a 2k, you would have had to actually plug the k directly into it. Maybe if this was like e to the 1 or e to 1.5k or something like that. You could plug it in, but you could still solve for n naught. Okay, so that's about 67. Okay, now what was the easy way to, uh, oh wait, and then n6, now we can get all the all the answers we want. So n of t, now we've got the parameters determined, and so it is 67 e to the 0.54931 times t. This is a great place to be. We've just got a function. And now if any somebody tells me what's n of 6, for example, I just plug it in. That's really easy. And we're going to discover something nice. And let's see, this is the time to pause it if you still want to try and do it the easy way times 6. We evaluate that, and we get, hmm, 1809. Hmm, 1809. That's really close to 1800. And we approximated this 67. That was really a 66 point. That was really a 200 over 3. Let's actually put this in as a 200 over 3. Even though bacteria don't come in thirds, it might give us a better idea of what's going on. Aha, 1800, exactly. Okay, hmm, interesting. So let's see how we could have done that easily, more easily. Because of the way these numbers were, the, in two hours, it tripled. In two more hours to six, it's going to triple again, and it's going to get to 1800. So that's why this actually was a very easy question to answer if we're thinking about that idea of a growth factor and the fact that the growth factor repeats and repeats and repeats and multiplies over and over again. And in fact, that would have been an easy way to get the 200 over 3 here. Going backwards in time from 200, you're going to have a decay factor of, of 3. If you are tripling every 2 hours and you end up at 200 at time 2, then you must have started at 200 over 3. So that's actually an easy way to get that guy. The k, you really do have to do lns and stuff like that to get the k and to get it into this form. Um, and the purpose of that, you might think, well, why do this at all? If it's so easy to answer, like, what is n of 0, what is n of n of 6, something like that. Well, what if I'd answered, asked n of 7, for example? Then that's a little harder. <laughs> or n of 7.25. Then you really need this, this, this kind of general formula we've got here. And this question is also good. n of t is 1,000. How would you answer that? Well, n of t is 1,000, and then we just set that equal. I'm going to put the 200 over 3 in there to get a a little better an answer. e to the 0.54931 times mystery t. And then we need to solve that equation. Okay, so we're gonna gonna move over. We get 3,000 over 200. That's 15. Equals e to the 0.54931 t. And then strip it off, whoops, ln15 equals 0.54931t, 
and so t is ln 15. Oops. And we've seen this uh, before. You often get what you get is the ln of the growth factor. What we're trying to determine is we started with 200 over 3. We had to grow by a factor of 15 to get to 1,000. And it always comes down to this. The mystery time is the ln of that growth factor divided by your rate constant. Let me even write that down. ln of growth factor divided by rate constant. That's if you're using e as the base of your exponential. Otherwise, it's not going to be ln. It's going to be a different kind of law. And we'll get the number right now. Oh, four point, about 4.9. T is approximately 4.9 hours. And that makes sense that it's between 4 and 6, because we know at 4 it's 600, and we knew at 6 it's 1,800. OK. Oops. Alrighty. So that's a good place to stop this video.